pangalawang broadcast pa lang namin but we've been receiving positive feedbacks from you mga ka-online, mga ka-forever at sana tuloy-tuloy pa ang inyong pagsuporta sa DOS TV. Dito pala nagpapasalamat na talaga kami. Ang DOS TV ay isa lamang sa mga proyekto na ginawa ng STII or Science and Technology Institute ng DOST. Pero ano nga ba ang STII? Ano pa ang kanilang ibang mga proyekto? And to discuss more about STII, we welcome again its head, of course, Director Richard Burgos. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Jill. At uh, maraming salamat sa pag-host uh, mo. Kahapon mo pa, ang dami-daming <laughs> nag-like sa atin in social media. Yes, oo nga. And then our friends in media mm-hmm. also covered us widely. Nakakatuwa. Oo, ano very ha? overwhelming talaga, <laughs> di ba? Kagaya sa inyo talaga ito, sabi nga, pinaghirapan ng lahat. Nakita natin yung outcome and then the fa- positive feedbacks. How does it feel? Nakakatuwa po talaga. And then uh, thinking that less than three months ago, yes. this was just an idea. Ano, ha? Ngayon, katotohanan na siya. Ito na, ito na, ito na siya realidad. talaga. <laughs> ano, <laughs> kaya uh, natutuwa talaga ako. I've seen everybody collaborate, uh, putting their best effort. Mm-hmm. And, and sometimes, you know, working beyond yes. the normal mm-hmm. working mm-hmm. conditions mm-hmm. just to get things up and running. Nakakatuwa po siya talaga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ito, syempre, isa lang to sa mga project ng uh, departamento na hawak ninyo, di ba? Nang, nang, uh, kung baga ng office, STII. Yes, Pero isa what, lang ito. Pero what? talaga. Oh, yes, oh. sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ang STII naman kasi ay isang ahensya ng Department of Science and uh-huh. Technology. Mm-hmm. Medyo matagal-tagal na rin ang kwento ng STII dahil sa in 1958, the year I was I, born, okay. <laughs> there was <laughs> ang, ang science concern ng government ay under ng National Science and Development Board. Yeah, okay. National Science Development Board. And in 1982, pinalawak ito, ginawa siyang National Science and Technology uh, Development Board. Ayan, okay? ayan pinanganak na ako niyan. Oo. <laughs> and then in In 1987, nagiging cabinet portfolio siya. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. And pinalawak yung kanyang uh, uh, component mm-hmm. working on science promotion mm-hmm. and education and information. Kaya in 1987, um, 39 years ago, nabuo yung Science and Technology Information Institute. Ang aming mandate really is, number one, mag-collect, okay. right? Mm-hmm. To collect science and technology information at mag-create ng library. Mm-hmm. Okay, so isa so yan, yung initial uh, plan Isa yan, pinakamahalagang uh, function okay. and service na binibigay namin sa publiko. Ano mm-hmm. ha? A, a, a library service in science and technology materials. Ngayon, uh, the other function is really to disseminate. Alam mo, ngayon ang, ang, ang informasyon, 80% of the world's information mm-hmm. is lying idle in storage facilities, yes. in PCs and all of mm-hmm. that. Sayang yun, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kailangan talaga natin ipamahagi yun because thinking through this available information, people can probably look for new solutions mm-hmm. to old problems. Mabilisan eh. Correct, oh. di ba? Mm-hmm. So that is the other... Uh, the other function that we have is to disseminate talaga the information okay so we we produce materials like print materials even audio materials and all of that para ma mabahagi mm-hmm. ay pamahagi natin sa ating mm-hmm. mamamayan ang tukol sa siyensya at teknolohiya sa ating bansa now the fourth mandate uh, for STI is really training So we should be providing training opportunities sa mga tao na nagtatrabaho sa gobyerno at sa labas ng gobyerno upang mas lalo nilang maintindihan at ma-appreciate yung science and technology. Mm, okay. Mm-mm. So yun, sir. Kasi, syempre, of course, ang DOST, meron iba't ibang offices, hindi ba? So iba't ibang nga, yung katulad ng mandates, iba't ibang function. Mm-mm. Pero, on your part, ano talaga yung pinaka-main o parang pinakamalaking uh, obligasyon ninyo when it terms to science and technology? So number one, I will repeat, yung mag-collect ng information yes. about science so, and talaga, technology. Particularly... Kailangan, mm-hmm. pag may nagre-research tungkol sa science and technology uh-huh. in the Philippines, pwede kami ang pwede. una nilang puntahan. Yeah. Diba? Mm-hmm. We should be the, the destination of choice when mm-hmm. it comes to science and technology information. Okay? Mm-hmm. Pangalawa, kailangan din namin mag-disseminate ng information. So, uh, pwede sila makipag-ugnay sa amin kung kailangan nilang malaman ng tungkol sa science and technology. Kaya naman, ngayon, meron kami isang programa, dinadala natin ang 
mga developments in the area of science and technology sa mga regions. Iyon, oo. Right. In mm -hmm. fact, the first part of June, we will be in Region 4A, ano ha? So, in Batangas, in Laguna, and all that area. Para ihatid sa ating mga mm -hmm. mamamayan, ano na talaga ang latest in terms of uh, uh, S&T yes. developments mm -hmm. and inputs ng DOST mm -hmm. sa mga negosyante doon? Etc. Etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yung kasi, siyempre, di ba sabi nga natin, accessible. Sana yung mas madaling ma-access. Halimbawa, katulad yan, ang daming information from your office na paano nyo nare-reach out? Katulad okay. nun. Uh, it, it, one thing, yung sabi niya, <laughs> nagta-travel kayo from yes, by region. From region okay. region. Mm -hmm. The other interesting thing is yung aming Starbucks. Okay. Starbucks, mm -hmm. okay. ang ginagawa namin dito, uh, din digitize na lahat ng aming collection. Okay? Kaya ngayon, Pwede namin ipamahagi yung kopya ng aming collection sa mga paralan and uh, offices okay. or livelihood wow. centers na gustong magkaroon ng kopya nito. Starbook, it's an what is it? It's a library? It's a library okay. in a box, okay? Oh, Digital library siya. Mm -mm -mm. Okay? So hindi hindi mo kailangan ng 100,000 uh -huh. volumes mm -mm. kagaya ng collection namin. Mm -hmm. Ang kailangan mo lang Storage device, ano ha? And access through a PC and other devices. So, ganun talaga. Sumasaway tayo sa teknolohiya. Yes. Kasi nung araw, maalala ko nung bata, bibili ka na encyclopedia, ang haba, ilang set yun, di ba? Correct. Tapos pabasahin mo ang dami. Ngayon, lalo na nakakatuwa yung mga estudyante, ano ha? Because on their own, they are promoting the Starbucks. In Bataan, merong school doon na dahil sa nagkaroon sila ng Starbucks, they went from rank number seven to rank number one in the National Achievement Test. So, nakakatuwa po yun. Okay. And uh, like, yung mga estudyante natin sa Lapu-Lapu, on their own. Ang layo. Oo. Mm -hmm. And on their own, they made a video mm -hmm. about how to use Starbucks mm -hmm. in Cebuano. Mm -hmm. ano, ha? So, mm -hmm. nakakatuwa. I mean, people really are engaged and uh, contributing. Kasi itong, itong content ng Starbucks, hindi lang naman yung collection namin. Pwede rin siyang dagdagan ng additional content from other collaborators mm -hmm. in the system. Mm -hmm. So, as of the moment, gano'n nakarami yung... As of the moment, natin? oh, we have uh, installed Starbucks in mm -hmm. 877 sites across the country. Pero, hindi tayo titigil doon. Dahil, alam mo, there are more than 50,000 yes, schools uh -huh, in the Philippines. Uh -huh. ano? So, mm -hmm. 877, just uh, barely scratching the surface. But, it's a great way to start. Because right now, we are... We are being known. Mm -hmm. Marami nang nagkukwento tungkol sa Starbucks at saka sa STII at itong, itong programang ito. In fact, uh, last year, we received a presidential citation from the American Library Association wow, for being an nice. innovative <laughs> approach yes. to mm -hmm. to sharing library resources. Talaga nakikilala pa ang Pilipinas, di ba? Pagdating sa oh, ganito nga. mga... Kaya nakakatawa itong project. Mm -hmm. oh. So since, ayan, katulad niya, bagong administrasyon, pagka nabigyan ka ng pagkakataon, sir, paano mo... Parang ang dating eh, parang mong bebenta ba? Parang ganun? O paano, ano nasabi mo sa bagong presidente? Aba. Since kahapon may proclaim ng ating bagong presidente. Oo nga, diba? sana maanyutahan mm -hmm. natin siya dito yes, sa DOSTV. Yes, oo nga, eh, di ba? No? <laughs> <laughs> Mukhang madali na makausap si president. <laughs> oo nga, sana mapapunta natin siya dito, ma-interview natin siya. At uh, marinig natin sa kanya, ang kanyang vision for science and technology. Sa ngayon, wala pa tayong secretary na na-designate for DOST. Sana bigyan niya rin ng halaga mm -hmm. ang ginagawa natin sa science and technology. Mm -hmm. Dahil without science and technology, we will never become a progressive nation. Okay? Yes. Nakita niyo naman kanina yung report natin on the, on the eight outcomes. No? Ito yung mga pamamaraan, yung mga areas where we can really contribute to national development. Ayun, oo. At speaking of that, contribution, katulad ng mga na-feature na natin, mayroon iba't ibang project ang uh, DOST, ang SCII, katulad ng garbage uh, collector, something like that, no? Ano pa yung mga projects pa talaga ng DOST? Uh, can you give us some... Uh, oh, marami tayong proyekto. Mm -hmm. And um, now the, this program is going to yes. be too short to <laughs> enumerate okay. all of them. Ano, ha? Isa lang sa mga... I think ngayon ang pinaka-exciting mm -hmm. technology that has come out of the DOST system ay yung irradiated carrageenan as a plant growth regulator. Mm -hmm. Ano ha? So, yan, carrageenan, yan yung ating agar-agar um, o yung, uh, it's a seaweed, ano ha? Okay, agar-agar? O agar-agar, seaweed siya. Okay, okay. Seaweed siya. Anyway, um, irradiated, meron kang process na may radiation uh, application. Tapos gagawin siyang solution, so liquid form siya, at i-spray siya sa plants, halimbawa sa rice. So, by using that, and 
particular times in the development of the rice crop, ay magkakaroon ka ng more, about 40% increase in yield and less dependence on pesticides. Okay. Alright? Because so, pagig- ano pa rin yun? Ibig sabihin na may maintain yung pagiging organic ng plant? Oh, yes. Oo naman. Oo. Yes, oo. Kasi okay, so, you're not using other chemicals. Yes, eh? yes. In fact, nag-lessen ang ating oh, dependence oh. on uh, pesticides dahil nasi-strengthen yung kakayahan ng plant to fight halimbawa tungro mm-hmm. which is mm-hmm. a common plant disease for rice diba but 40% increase in yield that's going to oh, be a game changer mm-hmm. no ha mm-hmm. yes, so sir. yan sa isa sa para sa akin mm-hmm. isa sa mga very exciting developments mm-hmm. coming from the Department of Science and mm-hmm. Technology marami pang iba kaya abangan natin yung mga developments na ito ang galing ano oh. and dami of course with that uh, projects and dami pang natutulungan ng na mga mm-hmm. mamamayan especially Specifically sa mga magsasaka, hindi ba? Oo, oh, mm-hmm. oh, 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 So, okay, from your offices, you, are you conducting training? Like what you said earlier, nagkakontakting kayo ng training. Pero katulad ngayon, June, pero may mga nakagraduate na sir eh, di ba? Nag-hire din ba kayo ng mga fresh graduate? Di ba? Siyempre ngayon, alam mo nung ang kabataan, oh, oh. sumasabay tayo sa teknolohiya. Mm-hmm. Ngayon ba, ang, ang kailangan talaga natin, mga fresh-minded people din. Oo, oo. Mm-hmm. kailangan natin mga tao na, na nakaalam na tungkol mm-hmm. sa science technology, mm-hmm. teknolohiya mm-hmm. at meron silang karanasan, okay? Para tulungan nila tayong isulong ang ating mm-hmm. agenda mm-hmm. for science and technology. All right? Nakikita ko nga kagaya ng mga tao with your background, <laughs> you know, civil engineer <laughs> and now and now a broadcaster. Oh, nga, wow, I mean, eh. yun ang yun para sa akin ang impressive, <laughs> no? Kasi once a scientist, you can be anything you want to be. Okay. Mm-hmm. So in STII, our uh, people are mostly mga uh, pe- people who have credentials in library science mm-hmm. and all of that and communications okay. uh, backgrounds mm-hmm. also, ano ha? So, bakit natin kailangan ang communications uh, background? Dahil ang communicators, bigyan mo yan ng isang topic, pwede niyang maintindihan yes. yan, at siya yung magta-translate niyan mm-hmm. into a language that the, the ordinary people can understand. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kaya mas kailangan din natin yung mga communicators. All right? mm-hmm. In fact, uh, up, coming up is a, a, a seminar that we want to conduct on social media strategies. Isa yan sa, uh, para sa atin ngayon, eh, kailangan na natin maintindihan talaga how to engage people using social media. Because, uh, doon na, yun na ang pamamaraan ng mga tao ngayon kung paano nila makuha yung mga information na kailangan nila sa araw-araw. Mm-hmm. Right? And we need to be masters of that so that we can engage more people. Ayun. Right? At this point in time, kayo sir, di ba, since naka Pwesto kayo sa SCII six months ago, parang or, uh, three months? Or three six, months lang. <laughs> three months pa lang, di ba? Do you have a um, long-term plan or meron ka na ba talagang nakalatag na plano for for your office na talagang kapaki-pakinabang? Of course, lagi tayo nag ready for, for, for giving and giving service to our people. Alam mo, I took office uh, on the 8th of March. So that's mm-hmm. less than three months ago. At Una sa, ang una kong ginawa ay pinatanggal ko yung malaking whiteboard okay. kung saan nakalagay <laughs> yung schedule ng office of the director and all of that. Kasi sabi ko, parang ang laki-laki niyan, sayang yung space. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Samantalang hindi na natin kailangan yan. Why? Kasi yung ating, ang aking schedule ay nasa Tama. cellphone na ka, di ba? I mean, mm-hmm. hindi mo na talaga kailangan. Mm-hmm. So, I come from a... A, a varied background, and I spent 13 years in the IT industry. Kailangan na natin gamitin talaga ang ICT, ano ha, in, in communicating the results of science and technology in the country. So, isa lang yun sa mga maraming paraan, no, na mag-shortcut na tayo. We can level up. We can leapfrog, mm-hmm. in fact, mm-hmm. to the next uh, stage of, uh, of uh, development, no, mm-hmm. using technology. Yes. So yun, tanggal ang uh, bulletin tanggal board. Tanggal whiteboard. <laughs> ang whiteboard. Okay. But um, ang una ko ring tinanong sa mga tao ko doon is like, saan tayo ngayon? And the next question which was more naughty and more provoking was, what else can we do differently? Kasi pag patuloy na ginagawa mo yung ginagawa mo ngayon, ay ang results mo pareho lang. Mm-hmm. Kung gusto mo ng magkaibang results, 
gumawa ka ng iba na naman, di ba? I, for example, I noticed na yung yung clipping, media clipping, ginagawa uh, namin yan manually, uh, yes, di ba? Yes, yes. So, hindi niya rin ginagawa yun. Ay, eh, na ngayon, sa, manual, manual. gusto natin, uh-huh. i-outsource na lang yan. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sayang yung tao, yung mm-hmm. human resource mo, they can do greater analysis of uh, issues and, you know, recognition of emerging issues for us. Instead of just clipping and clipping. And mm-hmm. Kaya, dapat value addition na lang tayo doon. The other thing I noticed is, kailangan natin i-outsource yung halimbawa perception research. Okay? And that's why in 2015, nagkaroon naman ng, uh, ng SWS survey. And very revealing yung information na nakalap natin dito. Halimbawa, only 80% of the people know about pag-asa. Pag-asa, every day yan nasa yan. television yan, di ba? But only 80% of the people know about pag-asa. So that's 8 out of 10 Filipinos. Okay. Now, of the 8, only half of them know that Pag-asa is under DOST. So, meron tayong mga gaps you know, in perception and understanding of how we work. So, yun pa lang, ang dami mong pwede, oh, kailangan no. gawin. Ano, ang dami mong kailangan mm-hmm. gawin. Mm-hmm. Okay? If you go to FIVOX, another agency under DOST, 7 out of 10 recognize FIVOX. Mm-hmm. Alright? Have heard about it or know something about it. But, of the 7, half lang yung alam may alam na under DOST siya. Oo, oo. oo. Okay? Kasi pang akala nila, isang departamento na to na, oh, oh. yun, main office, department Correct. of FIVOX. <laughs> Parang ganun eh, no? Oh, oh. And if you go to Food and Nutrition Research Institute, oh. abay, even... Under pa rin yan ng DOST. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. 40% na lang. I mean, oh. ang nakakaalam na merong FNRI uh-huh. at kung anong ginagawa nila, di ba? So, ang laki pa, there's a very big gap and we really need to uh, work harder mm-hmm. to communicate better what science and technology is doing for the Filipinos. Mm-hmm. So yun nga, katulad ng sinasabi ni Sir, ano yung way para talagang maging aware yung publiko na ito ang DOST, ito, ang organi- ang, ito yung organization under DOST, ito different areas, mm-hmm. di ba? In, in the same survey ng SWS, we found out that 66% of the mm-hmm. people who know about DOST, know about DOST through television. Mm-hmm. So television is the most powerful, I think. And uh, about 20% lang yung radio, etc. 5% lang yung social media. Mm-hmm. But we're looking at social media as the next big thing for communicating science and technology. And uh, kahit na 5% siya ngayon, mm-hmm. yan ang pinaka-fastest growing eh. Di ba? Yes. Ang bilis ang, ng, ng impact at saka ng, ng spread ng information through social media. Oh. Kaya kailangan natin pag-aralan, Mm-mm. kailangan natin maintindihan, kailangan natin magiging mahusay sa paggamit ng social media para mas lalong maraming Pilipino ang ating ma-engage. Mm-hmm. Tama, right pero dapat maging matalino ka sa paggamit ng social media, di ba sir? Mm-hmm. Well, sa bagay. Mm-hmm. Pero ngayon, isang click na lang <laughs> oh, yan. Oo, eh. di ba? Think before you click, sabi nga. Di ba? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, any further, uh, more messages sa ating mga kababayan since this is our uh, second episode from DOS TV. Ano pa yung mga plan na, plano natin for this? Ayan. Alright, sa lahat ng ating mga manonood, okay? So, inaanyayahan namin kayo na patuloy kayong sumuporta at makilahok sa broadcast natin through DOS TV. Pumunta lang kayo sa www.dostv.ph at uh, malaman ninyo ano ang pinaka-latest na news and developments sa science and technology. At uh, pwede rin kayo mag-feedback, you know? provide feedback, help us understand what your needs are and... Uh, we will be there to help you out. So maraming salamat po sa inyo at uh, tayo po ay partners sa gawaing ito. Thank you so much, Sir Richard Burgos. Ayan, sal- salamat talaga. And ako talaga, really amazing. Nakikita namin leadership from you. It's really amazing. It's Thank you, Jill. Truly really amazing talaga. Diba? Thank you so much, Jill. Okay, so uh, and we are... And congratulations, also... of course. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we are very blessed na lahat ng tao na sumuporta sa atin, hindi lang maganda, kagaya mo, <laughs> but also very knowledgeable. And hindi lang yun, engaged. Yes. And supportive talaga, mm-hmm. doing what they can, bending over backwards para lang mapatuloy natin itong mm-hmm. programa. Ito. And of course, syempre lahat ginagawa nandito 
dapat ano yun eh, kumbaga happy heart, sabi nga natin, di ba? Oo, para mas madali tayong maabot ng ating mga kaibigan sa pagbibigay natin ng mga balita at impormasyon na kailangan nilang malangan man sa araw-araw. Thank you. Ayan mga kaibigan, muli nakasama natin ang director ng DOST-SCII, Director Richard Burgos.